Hi, I'm Kevin Green, Chief Fire Officer for the Lincoln Volunteer Fire Brigade. Come take a look behind the scenes and see how this community service works. the siren sounds and our pages beep, a small group of men and women drop whatever they're doing and get to work. We are the Lincoln Volunteer Fire Brigade, almost 30 men and women prepared to serve their community. trucks roll, the community know they're in safe hands. It matters little the task, the location or the time of day. So it's about 11 o'clock at night and the call out at the moment is to a hay shed fire. So a call out like that requires two trucks as well as the tanker. So four one sevens away. we undertake are as diverse as the community we serve. There's a large farming sector, several schools, a university, science and research organisations and even a maternity hospital. And of course there's nearby villages of Taitapu, Springston and Prebleton. It's fair to say we cover it all. House fires are an immense challenge. Just take a look at the following footage from a training exercise. See the windows are cracking, she's getting pretty warm in there. Oh, she's getting warm there. Sadly though, house fires aren't always training exercises. We're at the scene of a nasty house fire in Rolleston. It's pretty much destroyed the house. The guys from Rolleston, I understand, were on another call when this one came through. So they got here very, very quickly, but it was still going for it. A seven kilometer wall of fire racing through tinder dry paddocks. Scrub and grass fires are a regular threat during the hot, dry and windy summer months. They're physically and logistically challenging. A fire out of control. And every available firefighter in Canterbury and nearby regions called in to help. There was wreckage scattered several metres either side of the highway between Christchurch and Akaroa. Sadly, vehicle accidents are all too common. They test our rescue and first aid skills and are often a graphic reminder of the need to slow down, buckle up and never drink and drive. Scene of another nasty accident. Single driver tonight. Lost control of the vehicle by the looks of it and uh, has crashed into the, into the race. We've had to cut him out of the vehicle. This one. That's a good Pull that back. Oh, hard. But our role involves more than just fighting fires and rescuing trapped motorists. Local school children visit our station to learn about fire safety. This is also a great way to teach the firefighters of the future. And we're there for community events, fireworks displays, open days, ANZAC services, even the Christmas parade. And of course we play a crucial role during civil emergencies. Radio New Zealand News at one o'clock. I'm Hewitt Humphrey. There have been reports of a huge earthquake in Christchurch. 
We don't have official details yet, but our reporter, Jessica Maddock, joins us Our crews played an important role in the aftermath of the February 2011 earthquake that killed almost 200 people in Christchurch and caused billions of dollars in damage. Cruelly, it was a shallow aftershock that followed an even more powerful, yet non-lethal earthquake just six months earlier. A plume of black smoke spiralling into the Christchurch sky, signalling one of the biggest fires in the city for years. The furious fire tearing through the pie factory at temperatures of up to 8,000 degrees. We're often called to assist permanent fire service staff on large jobs. That's partly because we're based just 20 minutes from the city of Christchurch. Complex tasks like this reinforce the need for exceptional skills, efficient teamwork and clear communication. And therefore, we undertake intensive weekly training. This sometimes utilises the fire service training centre in Christchurch. That was good. Lincoln 411, Lincoln 417, Rolleston 427, exercise, exercise, exercise. Geothermal PFA alarm activation. Take box 413100. Press play 423, Lincoln University, Lincoln Dorf Wing, Alfred Junction Road. Again, the emphasis is teamwork, communication, and operating under pressure. Confirm fire. Right, confirm fire, guys. Out. Meanwhile, regular courses teach new skills and offer opportunities for promotion through the ranks. Of course, all of this is done with the support of friends and family. After all, they're the ones who suffer when volunteer firefighters drop whatever they're doing to attend an emergency. Social events like these are regular and important events on our calendar. volunteers come from all walks of life and if you've got the time and think you've got what it takes let us know we'd be keen to talk to you